Recently, I was asked how and why I got involved in creating videos for YouTube. This is actually my third channel. I started about seven years ago when I discovered a YouTuber by the name of Peter McKinnon. He, like me, is a camera enthusiast. He would go and do a little bit of adventuring out with his camera, and he would also provide useful tutorials for people who didn't know anything about photography or cameras. So my first channel was totally inspired by him, which led, unfortunately, to a lot of content that seemed the same as his. Only I had no camera presence at all, and I was very stiff. In those videos, I was definitely an imposter, and I totally felt like it. So I shut it down. The second channel, I used my name, and I was still trying to explore photography, but more at a educational tutorial level. I did several dozens of videos about Photoshop and Lightroom. I had a little studio set up where people could follow me as I did this little trick or that. It wasn't necessarily bad, but the problem was, was that the content was just not evergreen. With Photoshop advancing as quickly as it had, all the little tips and tricks that I was showing was easily replaced with the AI features that are now prominent in those programs. So back then, as I was showing you how to swap out a sky that took about three minutes per image, today it can be done in 10 seconds, a click of a button. And if you don't like the results, you just click the button again. And you just keep clicking that button until you find something you want. I am not at all a supporter of that feature, but it is the signs of time. So those videos rapidly became obsolete. It wasn't really my style of teaching. And I shut down that channel. Prior to starting this channel, my life had changed. I became a nomad, living in a vehicle or a fifth wheel. Photography was still my passion, but I no longer wanted to teach it. I wanted to go on adventures, show a few things here and there, and take my audience with me on my journey. I had become a lot more confident with my on-camera presence and my own self. I didn't feel that there was a need to emulate, but I can still take some inspiration, and that's where we are today on this channel. Is this really, is this really fascinating content? Me folding up my laundry. What are you still doing here? All these videos that I have done for almost the past two years are little steps that I've been taking leading up to my adventure, which will take place sometime in April. Oh, I know that. Pants, socks, underwear, and underneath are t-shirts. All in one nice package. we go what do you guys think so now all I have to do is just lift this up and I can get straight access to my to my laundry just pull out the crate so let me know what you guys think I've got tan to black on this side and black to tan on this side not sure which way I should which way I should go with it the color scheme is kind of messed up by the color of this but I'm not too worried about that I don't know it's just one of those things that has got my mind in a all right, just a few hours of work and I'm all finished. Everything is just about back in order. So I gotta, I really gotta figure out how to decorate these. I actually don't really like them. The only up, the reason why they're up there is they, they provide a little bit more insulation, but I'd rather put curtains up. I'm gonna look in, look into seeing if there's 
a brand of curtains that are a little thicker that will hold back some of the coldest but give me the ability during the day to open them up and be able to see outside while I'm just chilling in here on my computer or something so yeah well that wraps up another video thank you for stopping by and I'll see you tomorrow good night